Hi friends, in this video I shall help you understand how to mount the maxillary and the mandibular casts on a semi-adjustable articulator. We have the Corydent CSA400 articulator here, where the face bow record has been transferred onto the indirect mounting jig and a cast support has been placed which provides stability to the bite plate, making sure that under the weight of the maxillary cast, it does not sag. Now very quickly let us look at the maxillary and the mandibular cast before we proceed with the actual mounting. Now in general this is what I prefer for my technicians to do. Keep my maxillary cast base relatively thin but keep my mandibular cast base quite thick. This is because usually the space available for maxillary mounting is less so I have a thinner base. If I have a thicker base it compromises the maxillary mounting often requiring me to come back and trim the cast. On the other hand if I have a thicker mandibular base it allows for an easier mounting because often the space available for mandibular mounting is substantially more. Now before we proceed with the actual mounting let us look at the mounting plates that are available with this system. Here on the left you see the metal mounting plate, whilst on the right in black you see the plastic mounting plates. Now both of these are magnetic and they go and snap fit onto the maxillary and the mandibular member. In general I prefer to use the metallic ones, this is because they are far more sturdy. Alright, so we go ahead and orient this onto the maxillary frame as you see here, it goes and snaps into its correct position. Once I have placed this, I take my maxillary cast, I go ahead and orient it into the imprint of my face bow registration. Now I have to make sure that this is absolutely stable. This should not rock at all. Now that this is stable seated, it is important that I go ahead and make some orientation grooves here for better repositioning. And also it's important that the cast is wet and soaked with a little bit of water making sure that my plaster mounting and my casts do not separate from each other. In the next phase of this video we will watch how to go ahead and proceed with the actual mounting of the maxillary cast.